Hello everyone, my name is Harrison Manning and this is my first YouTube video. I am 10 years old. I am set to go to Xavier University in the fall, almost tears. And I want to be a sports tech, want to be a sports management. So, yeah, a lot of my videos on this channel are going to be about sports. So, my first video is going to be about how the Late 2010s Cubs teams should have been Dynasty. Just a few small changes that could have happened. And this is very personal to me because I was born and raised as a Chicago Cubs fan. I don't think you can see that, but yeah, it's Cubs blanket. Born in Chicago, so yeah, it's very personal to me. Okay, so the first big change is this. You sign, in 2015, you sign Max Scherzer, no, Max Scherzer and Sergeant Lester. Now this one is debatable as to why, whether or not you really need it. Yes, Lester was incredible, but Max Scherzer was three, had two Cy Youngs, three Cy Youngs with the Nationals, and it's still better today. Next move is, you sign David Price instead of Jason Hayward. And then you give Ian Desmond a one-year deal instead of signing John Lackey. This was coming to play in the next offseason because at the trade deadline, you don't trade for Roldis Chapman. You trade for Mark Melanta from the Pirates instead. Now, I know how good Roldis was, but it's a cheaper price for the guy, and it all makes sense in the offseason. Now, in the offseason, Ian Desmond leaves, that's to be expected. But, you need to replace Hayward, and Fowler also leaves, just like real life. So, you trade for Adam Eaton, giving up the package you would have originally gave up for Rolls Chapman. And yes, you still, and yes, Wade Davis is still going to be in the Cubs. I mean, what can we really do there? Best fit there, so, yeah. Then... At the trade deadline, you trade for Sonny Gray instead of losing his time. Now, I know he wasn't that good with the Yankees, but Sonny Gray is still one of, was, uh, at a renaissance of the Reds that I think could have been really needed with the Cubs. Now, in the 2018 offseason, this is the move that will lead to another one in the next year, but this move, in my opinion, could probably have changed the fortunes of everything. You don't sign you, Darvish. You instead... Focus your attention on Shohei Otani. Now, the reason this happens is, you still have to pay the $20 million posting fee, but he was on a minimum contract, so, you Darvish's his entire salary, which is about $21 million, covers the posting fee for him, and his $1 million contract. And then you have $21 million next offseason, so... You don't sign down on the scout, so you bring in the guy who wanted to come here in Bryce Harper. And then at the deadline, you trade for Shane Green instead of Nick Castellanos. Apart from that, I think with these changes, you could at least win two World Series, maybe three. And I know they're going to have to break up the core after 2019, after 2020, but... Yeah, but those are my changes. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.